financial independence, achieving financial freedom. Many people aspire to achieve financial independence. Consider yourself in a financial position where you don't have to work unless you want to. Imagine never having to worry about money and the ability to leave your job without repercussions or even retiring earlier than planned and spending your time doing what you enjoy. You see, achieving financial freedom means that for the first time in your life, you can freely pursue your interests without fear of financial repercussions because you have enough money to cover your living expenses comfortably. The truth is that when it comes to financial independence, it rarely and usually does not happen overnight, and there are steps to take in order to achieve it. This is what we'll be discussing in this Practical Wisdom video. Now, the question for you. How far along are you on your path to financial independence? Knowing where you stand can help you figure out where to direct your ambitions. But before I do so, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here, please welcome and subscribe. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. Financial Dependence If you earn less than you spend, consider yourself to be in the dependent stage. Don't make any money at all if you still rely on your parents or other financial sources. You are a dependent if you receive assistance from a third party, such as an uncle, family member, or friends. You, I, and almost everyone else have all been dependent on someone at some point in our lives. People in this stage of life are usually still living with their parents, usually students or a bachelor or bachelorette struggling to make ends meet. If you do not plan wisely, for example, for retirement, you may also become completely financially dependent. This time, however, you will most likely rely on your children rather than your parents. You will leave this stage once you have a stable job or source of income. The second stage is financial solvency. Solvency is the survival stage, and it occurs when your expenses exceed your earnings. You are capable of meeting your financial obligations at this point, like paying bills and having some but not a lot of money left over. However, you are still vulnerable to any unforeseen events at this stage. It means that, despite having a firm grasp of your financial obligations, you lack the financial stability buffer used to absorb a financial shock, such as a large car repair or a large medical bill. You are still trying to survive at this point, but you can handle basic tasks on your own. If you are a student, the first step toward financial stability is to find a job that pays well. It will enable you to earn enough money to avoid having to rely on your parents for basic necessities. If you're earning money but still struggling, getting to this stage may necessitate getting a better paying job, increasing your income in some way, or even cutting your expenses. As you reclaim control over your finances, you achieve financial stability. You may have found full-time work to get here, or maybe you found a better paying job to support your way of life. The majority of the time, the transition from dependency to solvency is smooth, involving reducing perks or extravagances. It's always critical to acknowledge your accomplishments regardless of how you arrived at this point. The next stage is financial stability. This stage is distinguished by your ability to save money on a monthly basis. The financial stability stage entails establishing a foundation of savings that could help you in the event of an unexpected emergency or a change in your life circumstances. You can begin saving here once you can comfortably meet your financial obligations, pay off any debts, and cut costs on a regular basis. It's normal to have a few debts at this point. You may still be in the process of repaying your mortgage or student loan, but you've paid off the majority of your consumer debts, and there is no need to incur any additional debt. The extra money can be used in an emergency or a financial reserve. After all, you remain financially vulnerable to any unforeseen events, perhaps a broken down car, unemployment, or a serious illness. To be financially secure, you must have a financial cushion that can withstand these shocks, savings that can cover six months of your expenses without having a significant impact on your lifestyle, for example. You want to get to this point because you want to be at peace. Money should no longer be viewed as a safety net at this point, but as a tool to help you create the life you've always wanted. The next stage is debt freedom. 
At this point, you've established enough financial stability to begin budgeting and save money aside for an emergency fund. Since you've paid off the majority of your consumer debts, the next step is to begin paying off high interest debts. Even settling on just one high interest loan can be difficult, which means one less thing to worry about and more money in your savings. This means, even if you're at work, on paying off any investment debts, student loan, or car or house mortgage, if you get it right at this stage, you should have enough money and resources to not only survive but also thrive. You don't have to live hand-to-mouth anymore. You have a cash reserve, which can be a good backup option in an emergency, and you're almost debt-free. This is the time when the value of money is more than just a safety net. It is now a means to assist you in creating a much better and more comfortable existence. Furthermore, you can begin putting your money to work for you by investing it. The next stage is financial security. Financial security entails having enough money and assets that are sufficient to cover your expenses, emergencies, and retirement without ever having to worry about them running out. Furthermore, people who are financially secure are less likely to have consumer debts, so you can save money for future needs while still meeting all of their monthly financial obligations. At this point, you should begin assembling a solid investment portfolio that more than covers your costs in order to achieve financial security. You must begin saving money and paying off high interest debts and strategically saving money for various goals. For example, an emergency or rainy day fund, retirement, investments, and other desires. To hasten your progress, it is beneficial to concentrate not only on ways to save money, but also on ways to earn more money, such as pursuing a higher paying career or starting a business where you can earn more money on the side. Your goal in Stage 1, Financial Dependence, was to learn how to live, keep to your budgets, and pay off your debts. Your objectives have shifted now that you've accomplished them. Your income begins to detach from your lifestyle during the thriving stages. That is, your investments can support your lifestyle rather than your paycheck. When you can cover your basic expenses with your investment income, you have arrived at the financial security stage. Let's move on to the next stage. Financial Reliability This stage is primarily concerned with recognizing the significance of a solid investment. If you've been consistently saving money between stages 2 and 4, you'll have invested in solid assets that can provide returns in the short, medium, or long term. As a result, you should be able to reap the rewards of your investments. If your investment income is sufficient to cover your basic living expenses, you have arrived at this point. This does not, however, imply that you may now resign from your position. It would be preferable if you continued to work in order to cover your expenses. The next stage is financial freedom. At this point, your investment income should be sufficient to cover your necessary costs as well as any additional expenses unnecessary for the rest of your life. You might even be ready to quit your job and do the things that you want to do without worrying about money now or in the future. This stage is sometimes divided depending on whether your savings can be used partially fun for your lifestyle or enable you to live more abundantly than you do now. There is no specific or fixed figure that will tell you. You know you have achieved financial independence because everyone lives a different lifestyle. Most people's ultimate goal is financial independence, which means meeting their basic needs. And your investment income can cover some of your needs. Your lifestyle and income are nearly identical. You're completely detached at this point, and you could stop working entirely if you wanted to. You can begin to consider goals other than your current ways of life, such as something you'd like to buy or an experience that you'd like to have. The most important factor is to define and support these goals in the absence of investment income. At this point, you are truly financially free and independent in every sense of the word. The last stage is financial abundance. This, believe it or not, is a financial stage with a relatively significant financial impact burdened by it. Because your accumulated wealth exceeds your lifestyle requirements, you must now determine how to properly manage your surplus. You have enough funds left over from your passive income at this point to invest in other businesses and buy more real estate, donate to charities, or even start your own. Financial abundance allows you to have the freedom you've always desired without worrying about your income suffering. 
It is critical to have trusted advisors at every stage of the financial independence process that can assist you in developing a strategy for entering the next financial stage of your life. While financial independence may appear to be a destination, it is actually a journey. Being conscious of the stage you are at in this journey is required for you to employ the appropriate strategies. It should be noted that the destination is very personal. This means that you should set your own goals that define the ideal future that you seek. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Thanks for watching!